hey guys and welcome back to another video so today i'm bringing you a massive kiko haul as you can see i have a very full big brown bag full of new stuff and yeah without any further ado let's get into the video okay so the first thing i got was this invisible touch face fixing powder and this is how it looks i think this is gorgeous i love this packaging it looks so fancy and expensive even though you know there's not a lot of powder but i don't know i heard a lot of good things about this powder so i decided to get it everything i got was 50 percent off so that's why i got so many things because why not take advantage of 50 percent off which is a crazy amount of money next i got the face makeup blender normally i use this uh, make a sponge from Primark and I really like it especially for the price it was like one euro or something like that and it's very fluffy and big and since I have a lot of space to cover up with foundation this is very useful but since I got 50% off and eventually I will have to change or to use another sponge I decided to get a new one next I got this flawless fusion bronzer powder in the shade of 6 this is how it looks, super elegant and cute and just beautiful. Um, this has a huge mirror inside which is very useful if you want to throw this in your bag and just have a huge mirror in your bag. This is the bronzer. It's more of a cool tone bronzer than I normally use, which I appreciate because not that I have anything against the orangey bronzer, but I think this is more natural and it's also good for contour and Mia, yeah, all those good things. Next I got the Skin Tone Foundation with SPF 15. I got this in the shade Neutral 20. It says it is a highlighting fluid foundation, shake before use. Yeah, This is how it looks, the packaging, it's very fancy. That's my favorite word, I guess, because I said it 30 times already in this video. But uh, yeah, I went to one Kiko and a girl recommended the neutral gold something. And then I went to another Kiko and another girl recommended the rose something. So I decided to go somewhere in the middle and get the neutral one. The next thing was the Skin Tone Concealer in shade 03. This is how the concealer looks. I'm very excited about trying this because I have like crazy dark circles so trying out new concealers always get me so excited next I got no, actually let's go for eyeshadows so I got two smart color eyeshadows one in the shade 20 and another one in the shade 08 this is the shade 20 it's a shimmery purple and this is the shade 08 I have to say this is probably one of my favorite eyeshadow colors of all time I'm using it right now I think it's just so flattering I really like this and it goes with pretty much not every single lipstick but with a lot of different color lipsticks then I got the water eyeshadow in the shade 208 um, Jordan Lipscrum recommended this Jordan here on YouTube and when in one of our latest videos she used this as a highlighter and she says it doesn't come off it doesn't make your pores look bigger and it's not shimmery just like a glow and I'm very happy I trusted her and I bought this because look how pretty this is it's gorgeous, I'm using it right now and I am in love with this. Then to finish this haul I got four different lipsticks. I got two from the from the Smart Fusion lipstick range, one in the shade 432 and another one in the shade 433. This is the 433. Mm -mm. It's a cool tone nude. I'm using it right now and this one is in the shade 
four, three, two. So as you can see, this is a little bit more on the orangey side. These are normal, regular lipstick, not too shiny, not too matte, just normal lipsticks, yeah. So then I got the Velvet Passion Matte Lipstick in the shade 301. This is how it looks. I have another one of this range, but it's more of a winter shade because it's a cool town, cool town, cool tone, dark brown. And I wanted something more everyday use, so I got this one. Beautiful and also very comfortable on the lips. If my lips get too dry, because I do have super dry lips, I just apply a little bit of lip balm and then I reapply the matte lipstick and it works just fine. And the last thing of this haul is the Jelly Stilo lipstick in shade 507. This is how it looks. This is perfect for everyday use. It doesn't have a lot of pigment, but it does give such a nice color to the lips and it, it just makes everything look better. It's the perfect no makeup makeup lipstick. If you want to throw, even when I'm not wearing any makeup, I like to put a little bit of color on my lips just to make me look a little bit more alive. And I think this is going to be my go-to lipstick for those days. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this massive Kiko haul and see you next, next one. No, see you on my next video. Bye.